everyone and welcome! Today we're going to go over how to mod the Super Nintendo Classic Edition console. Now this is that SNES mini console that came out years ago. I did a video when it first came out, but I think it's time to do a new video, an updated version on how to mod the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Now this system is absolutely fantastic and a great way to play those classic Super Nintendo games. All right, so let's get to it. First thing you're gonna do is you're going to go to this website here and you're gonna download the HackG2 program. I'll put a link in the description below. But you can see over here on the right that the file hasn't been updated since 2022. So nothing new since then, but we haven't done this for a while. So go ahead and click on the download link here and it's gonna pop up in your downloads folder. So go ahead and open that up and we are going to install the HackG2 program. Once this window opens up, go ahead and hit next. Then you're gonna choose your install location or you can just do with what they recommend, which is what I did. This part took a little longer, so I sped it up not to bore you. Once that's done, go ahead and hit close, then close out all your windows because it's time to open up the HackG2 program. This program is absolutely awesome for modding this system or other mini systems. So now that you've got it opened up, I'm gonna show a little bit around the app itself this is where you find the original games that came on the system when you bought the system. So at the top it shows original games and then down below it shows custom games. Now I've already had this installed from doing all my other mods, but these are my NES games that I've added to the NES Classic Edition in my video on my YouTube channel. So go check that out if you'd like to mod that system. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to this drop down menu and this is where you're going to find the system that you're modding. So for us it's the Super NES USA, so go ahead and choose that. Now we get to add more games, so click on that button down on the left, add more games, and we're going to go through all of the games in the folder that has your ROMs in it. Now this is where we get to add games, so it's very exciting. Let's choose some games we don't already have on the system. So I chose Legend of the Mystical Ninja, very, very good game. What else can we pick? Uh, ooh, uh, Knights of the Round. This is a fantastic Super Nintendo side-scrolling beat-em-up. If you haven't played this and you're a fan of beat-em-ups, definitely, definitely put this on your system. Uh, what else? Oh, Mega Man X3, because Mega Man X3 is a very expensive game and it's a very hard game to get. So if you want to play it, well, this is a perfect opportunity because you get to play those games that are very expensive and hard to get in person. All right, let's put one more game on here. What can we find? Uh, Robocop vs. Terminator, yes, let's put that on there. It is honestly a terrible game, but I'm going to show you how it plays on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out. You can see all the new games have been added here up in the new app section, and I don't have these checked off, so if you click on the original games banner, you can then click on the first game and it will add all of them back in. Now. We have all of the box art added to all four games automatically. They have done such a great job with this program where it automatically does that as well as gives you all the information on the game so you don't have to do it manually. Okay, so now you're going to go up to the top and you're going to choose Kernel, Install, Repair, click on Yes, and now we can connect the Super Nintendo Classic Edition to your PC. So take the micro USB cable and plug it into your PC and on the console itself you're going to turn the power on hold the reset down, take that micro USB cable that's plugged into your PC, plug it into the back of the console while still holding reset, and wait for this sound. There you go, you're now connected. So back on your PC, we are going to have this thing install. It takes a long time, so I did speed it up because it could be quite boring, and I don't want to bore you guys. So after that's done, you're going to click OK, and we're ready to go. You can see down in the left side, there is a green icon. It shows that it's connected and how many games we have selected, 25. And this is where it shows the space that's left on your console and how much you can put on it. And this green bar will fill as you add more games and add more save files. So let's go ahead and click on synchronize selected games with mini. And it opens up this window. Now this is your organization window. It's gonna show how you're going to perceive your games on your console. So automatically, the system just has all the games out on the open when you open up the console's menu. 
but if you have a lot of games, you're going to have to select a different option, like adding it to folders with the letters. So each letter will have all the games that correspond with those, but for now, we don't have a whole lot of games added, only four. So we're just going to keep it how the console normally looks. All right, now you can click OK when you're done customizing. And this is going to add the games to the console. Now this process here could take a long time depending on how many games you've added, but we've only added four, so it's super quick. Once that's done, you can go ahead and hit OK, and we can head on over to the console. Starts up with the boot screen, which is the Hackchi logo, and then it goes right into the system, and look at that, looks identical to before modding the system, so you don't have to worry about it changing everything. Uh, but let's go check out the new games. we got Knights of the Round, Legends of the Mystical Ninja, Mega Man X3, and Robocop vs. Terminator. So everything looks the same, it blends right in, it's a natural look. So let's go into Knights of the Round because we're going to check out some gameplay, and I absolutely love this game. If you're a fan of those sided-scrolling beat-em-up games from this era, this is definitely a must-have. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Arthur. I usually use Percival, but uh, only because when I was a kid, everybody else chose the other two characters, so I didn't get a chance to. Uh, great color. Nice frame rate. I don't have any issues here. There's no sound issues. It just looks fantastic. What a great game. And you can save it just like all the other games that were built into the system. It saves exactly the same, so you don't have to worry about that there. Alright, let's go check out uh, Robocop vs. Terminator, just because this game is so terrible. Oh, look at that. Super Nintendo quality graphics. Uh, the graphics actually look great on this game. Uh, you can barely jump, and these enemies, they're so hard to hit. Like, I shot that guy. Can you seriously... How was I supposed to get away from that? So you can barely jump when you're shooting. Look at how am I supposed to dodge that? I'm <laughs> just an all-around bad game. All right, that concludes the video. That is how you mod your Super Nintendo Classic Edition the easy way in 2024. I hope this helped you mod your console. And if you liked the video and it's helped you out, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Awesome. Thanks. Bye.